Hello everyone, today we are going to rake the eyes, alright? So, first thing you gotta do when starting off, you gotta hide your hair, cause it'll just get in the way of the rigging. Also before we jump into rigging, don't worry about the left eye for now, cause we can reflect it, reflect this eye to the other. You'll see what I mean by the, by the end of the video that is okay, so first let's find the hair usually when you click on the the mesh it will show you where it is in the the layer settings there you go now we hide the shadow as well so i hate looking at it like that <laughs> Bam. there you go all right so now you can see the I really clearly um, okay so this is what we got so, I'm gonna delete this for now all right okay so what you're gonna do is select this pen tool and basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna outline this thing outline the eyebrow we're just jumping straight into this since there's no further explanation needed I'm not gonna um, fast forward for this one, just so you guys see the real process of everything. Then I'll speed up for the others, for the other parts. Some people use the standard one, this one over here. Is it? The auto. Um, you could use that, but for the eyebrows specifically, I do not recommend at all that you use that, because it'll... I'll, I'll show you afterwards. It's not very straight. That's all I can say for now. Okay, just roughly outline them like that. Right, now. Try to get it in the center. We call this the mesh. So, when you're moving things, you usually start off with four, and that's really hard to deform later on. We're gonna be using the deform tool a lot, so if you can't deform the mesh, it's gonna be really hard for you to change its shape. That's why, especially the eyebrows, you gotta make it yourself just to get that straight line. Bam. Right, once you got this, you can go ahead and clip for division. Mm -hmm. There's some parts that... Mm. Yeah, I think it's fine. Make sure it's straight. Right, there you go. Okay, we can click that. Oh, I, I'll show you how it looks if it's uh, used by standard the auto button right so if we click standard right you can see that you don't really see a line right yeah and let's say you were to go for formation little yeah that's just worse you can't control it at all like this um let's try heavy yeah there's no straight line in the middle can't control the curves yeah so that's why we resort to this
Right, you can see the middle line. Right. Okay, so for the other part, so I'm just gonna fast forward, I think. This part is important for you to outline as well because we're gonna make use some physics on it afterwards. For the vision, then see it's really easy actually. For this part, there's clearly a mistake where um, I did not separate the layer. So the only thing you can do for this one is just to um, separate it in your um, your working file, your drawing file, and then um, cut it, and then export it back through a PSD file. That's about what you can do. Uh, I'll just take a moment to fix it. Okay, I'm back and I I fixed it. I fixed the side lash. So I'm just gonna continue. Continue doing the same thing. Raising. And then putting back the mesh. In a very detailed manner. For these parts, you don't really have to be um, specific with it. As long as it has that shape. I think it will be just fine. Continue to do just what we've been doing. For division. There you go. Right. And also I before I forget. Um so select everything that should be within the sclera. Should have a sclera. So what is it? Iris, the light, then the more light. <laughs> the the second layer of the light. And then no, actually go to Sclera first. Then copy the ID, which is Art Mesh Twenty Six. If it's for mine. So now select everything again. Now copy paste the Sclera ID. Now what this does. If you move the eye, yeah, it will stay within the sclera. Right, let's see. Example, we don't have that yet. It goes out of the sclera. Right, let's put it back. Right, so this is really important. <laughs> you don't want to mess this up. Same goes with all the things that is supposed to be within the sclera. Right. Moving on. 
We're gonna start animating the eye. Actually, I haven't done the iris for the eyes yet. We'll do that first. Um, so, um, the eyes... We have a special trick for it, but in order for it to work, you gotta... You gotta do it in a very specific way. So first, just follow me. And try to outline this circle. better beam right now make another circle this time within the eye as you can see I don't really have the perfect circle here but we're just gonna go with it um, try to follow the inside of your circle for the second circle can make it a little bit wider as well actually there you go yeah I think that's gonna be better the outcomes okay now what you want to do is circle the iris with your model You have a heart shape iris, you're gonna have to follow the, the heart shape. Just follow the iris. If you have like a tiger or a furry model, you probably have to do it sharp. Alright. Now, see what you want to do is how to connect all of this. Okay, so right here, what you want to do is make sure there's no lines within the iris. Okay, but before that, you can, as you can see, this is too big of a brush. So what you gotta do is click B at the same time. As you click left clicked. So this will, oh, sorry. This will... Hold up. Shift. Wait. Oh, I was clicking the wrong button. It's B, and then you just drag it over. There you go. And then make it smaller again. So you can reach these. It's up to you if you want to delete these parts as well. Doesn't really matter. What matters is the inside, alright? Okay. Alright. Now, we'll start animating the eye first. So, Iris R, go to... Make sure you're on the right parameter, by the way. Uh, it's not angle Y or angle X, it's eyeball X and eyeball Y. It's really important. Alright, go to eyeball x first so x is right to left okay so click add three keyforms make sure they're in green by the way if they're not in green you cannot edit them there ah uh, i forgot okay so first don't forget to Sell everything in your eye and then you make a deformer here's our first deformer let's name it iris well eyeball is eyeball really eyeball x y r bam Um, so yeah, um, this one 
to, to delete all the key farms again, you just click this. It'll delete all key farms. Okay, go back to eyeball X, Y, and R. Now you add the three key frames. Right, sorry, my bad. Okay. Right, um, so... Oh, before I forgot again. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we're gonna select everything in the... R. Thing in R... Right eye. Clear eye layer as well. Select everything. Clear in the makeup. Oops. Probably something like this. One, two. Shadow I R. Let's find the uh, yeah this this this. Did I misclick? Get it not. I did R. What else? Did we sell everything? Uh no. Right here, right here, right here. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, wrong button. Okay, so for all this, we create um, what do we call it? Um, I R. Uh, okay. So this like iris and everything else that already has a deformer. Do I X Y and R create? Then we drag this one down to it. S Y S R. Okay. Now it's under. Uh, basically, this is the uh, uh, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> it's like we forgot a few things here. Uh, let's find Sclera R. What else do we need? What else did we miss? So, basically, anything that you forgot, just drag it back. Mm -hmm. We forgot the side lash R. Over here. Bam bada beam. Let's try that again. Yep, that's everything. Okay, nice. Alright, I'm gonna explain it again. Um to so this part. Um, to select everything that has to do with your right R, uh, right, right eye. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this, so this. Um, I did R, 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 R. Everything that has to do with your right eye. Eye light. A little tiny light, your shadow eye. Iris. I have bad naming sense by the way but in my opinion as long as you understand it as long as you know which part it is you can just proceed Okay, now that's our eye. Uh, let's try doing this as well. So your eye. Then so your eye, eye light and the tiny lights. 
And let's create a diploma here. Um, let's call it um, eyeball. And if you have any other iris, any emotional iris, um, you can put it in this deformer as well. Create, right? And you have a deform, right? All right. So now go go to eyeball X and eyeball Y. This is really important. Don't mistake them for uh, angle X and angle Y because. Um, because you're gonna, <laughs> oh, you're gonna, um, you're gonna mess up with the the coding, left two D coding. So now move on to where was it? I are open. I is, I know, where was it? <laughs> I lost it. Okay, eyeball X and eyeball Y. Okay. So now go to make sure you select the eyeball X Y deformer. Then you select eyeball X, and then you click on this. So this adds keyframes. So here's where you can do the animations. Don't forget to save every once in a while because um, if your model is big, it will most likely crash a lot. It will. Um, I will definitely crash most of the time. Definitely. Okay, so now. Um, move on to this keyframe. Le uh, it's left click, by the way. Left click. You'll snap right to it. So when it's on red, um, it's the part that we're looking at right now. So let's say I move this part over here. And the keyframe right here is still in the middle all right so yeah you get how it works okay let's say I'm I'm satisfied with this this eye all right uh, I'm gonna do reflect motion right here reflect vertically now if I go to this keyframe, them. Uh, <laughs> okay, more, more back, guys. <laughs> uh, I guess it's not. <laughs> it's not vertically. Um, I keep messing that up. Uh, reflect motion horizontally. Yeah, horizontally. So horizontally, you have a look over here. Actually, I'm not quite satisfied with that. So now we have the movement left to right, right to left, right. Like I said, focus on the first, uh, the the one of the eyes first, because you can reflect them later. It's you can see it's the same, um, same way you do this. Okay. Um, next we're gonna try doing it on eyeball X, uh, eyeball Y. Now Y is up and down, so this down, this up, so over here first. Alright, probably somewhere over here, right? Yeah, somewhere over here. Then you go reflect motion, and then vertically this time. There you go. You're looking up, you're looking down, looking up, looking down. Alright, very nice. Go back. Okay, so there is a very cool trick to this. <laughs> I'll just call it magic. <laughs> in my opinion, in my eyes, it's magic. So, first, you click over here to link the, the both parameters. So now you can look right, look left, look up, look down. Which is really cool, but you can take it a, a step further 
and click synthesize corners. No need to change anything. Just click OK. Now you have all the corners. You can go up here, go up here, go down here. Well, it doesn't look natural just yet. But we'll get there. We're getting there. We haven't touched the physics yet. Make sure you save every once in a while before it crashes. Alright. Um, okay, moving on. What else am I supposed to do? Um, okay, I think I'm gonna show you guys the parallel uh, effect now. Um, so we're just gonna select our iris. Then we click on the lasso tool. Alright. Oh, uh, by the way, I unselect the parameter. So we're gonna be editing again. Um, now click on the three buttons again. So now you can animate the iris itself, the mesh itself, right? So when you edit the mesh, um, I'll just show you guys a sample. See, it changes the texture. Alright, so that's what we're gonna be playing with. So let's say eyeball X. Okay, when you look somewhere, the iris goes to the back, alright? Because the iris isn't exactly in the middle. Alright, so we're gonna, gonna replicate that. Always doing this. See that? Just throw it to the back. This will create a very beautiful um what do we call it? Um 3D effect. Okay now over here. I don't recommend you to reflect motion because this is we're playing with mesh. It's not a good idea. Then you should, I think you should edit it to make it look believable like this part. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. Okay, so let me show you. Just select this. See that? Go to the back. Right? Okay, yeah, but we're not finished just yet. The tiny lights have to move as well, and we also have to do it for the X and Y. Alright, let's start with the X and Y first. Don't forget to click the three keyframes. The problem if you don't click the three keyframes is that you're gonna be changing the mesh for the texture itself not while it's animated oh sorry don't forget to move it as well oops my bad then stick to the ceiling if there is one, I just did. Okay. I think that's fine. That'll, that'll do. So basically, what we achieve here is that the iris is always in the center. I'll show you what I mean by that. Yeah, okay, maybe that's a little bad. Uh, I'll fix that. Sometimes, uh, times like this, you can just edit the mesh. No, I don't think that's a good idea. All right, let's. Get it again. Does it work? This model is really big, by the way, so uh, it's gonna have a lot of 
problems rendering. It's just bear with me when it renders. Alright, let's try to synthesize the corners again. Just to see, just to get a feel. You have to do this uh, each time if you watch by the way. Oh, also, you have to sell everything. So to sell everything, you need to right click and then click select. It'll sell everything that is in XY. Yeah, it's Y per minute. And then all you have to do now is say it's size corners. Alright. Let's try it. Yeah. Look at that. That looks amazing. That looks really nice. And we haven't even touched the physics yet. Which is amazing. I'm gonna save again. 